Tom Hess, Audiobook Narrator Waldo's Cross-Country Adventure, A Puppy's Tale By Tammy Lynn We pulled up in the driveway of a lady. Oh no, who is being given away now? Is it me? Is it because I've been so bad? Wait, I know that dog sitting by the lady. That's my little brother Wolverine. Oh wow, I get to see my brother. Human Mom walks to the woman and gives her a big hug. And then Wolverine stands up on his back legs and gives her a hug too. He's whining. He is happy. Human Dad goes over and Wolverine hugs him too. It's so nice to see my brother. Spirits. A guide to the most common and popular spirits in the world and how to pair them with foods and various special occasions. By Tadio Diller. A Short History of Distilled Spirits Knowing the colorful history of distilled spirits also entails understanding how the distillation method originated. Since the two ingredients that are essential in fermenting alcoholic beverages already existed thousands of years ago, civilizations in all parts of the world were able to create alcoholic beverages early in history. In fact, the Chinese already started to distill alcoholic beverages from rice beer during 800 BCE. People in the East Indies also started distilling arrack from both rice and sugarcane during that time. However, it was the Arabs who created a distillation process designated to make distilled drinks from wine. There were also reports stating that Greek philosophers were able to develop a basic distillation process. Some reports also stated that Britain started to produce distilled spirits even before the Romans started conquering them. Basketball Referee 101 101 Tips to Start, Grow, and Succeed as a Basketball Official from A to Z By How Expert Stephen Michalik I've got a great partner tonight. Number 38 Be a Good Partner in officiating, you want to be the person who everyone wants to work with. When you create a persona that people respect and admire, your games will go more smoothly. In general, being a good partner is just about being a good person. If you're considerate and humble, with some knowledge thrown in there, you will be someone who other officials look forward to working with. Number 39. Over-communicate. A great official once told me, that if you think you're communicating too much, it's probably enough. If you think you're communicating enough, you're probably not. This is a good maxim to live by. Whether it is identifying the shooter, signaling to your partner when you'll reach the bonus with the next foul, signaling how many free throws should be given, or designating the spot of a throw-in, communicate with volume and confidence. You're much more likely to have a smooth game if you over-communicate.